Factorization using identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Difference of two squares. NCRT class 8 exercise 12.2. Now let's factorize 4p square minus 9q square. The question has two square terms. The negative sign indicates the difference between the two. So we will use the identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now 2p I take as equal to a in the identity. If I square 2p, I get 4p square, which is the first term. Now this I can write as equal to 2p the whole square. Same way, 3q is equal to b and 9q square will be equal to 3q the whole square. This is b square in the identity. So 4p square minus 9q square, I can write as 2p the whole square minus 3q the whole square. This is similar to a square minus b square. Now I have to write a square minus b, b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. So I write 2p plus 3q into 2p minus 3q. The factors are in the product form. So I say factors of 4p square minus 9q square are 2p plus 3q and 2p minus 3q. Let's factorize 49x square minus 36y square. Again, the question has two square terms with a negative sign in between. Now let's take a equal to 7x. When we square 7x, we get 7x the whole square. Now this is equal to 49x square. And here b I take as 6y. So b square will be equal to 6y the whole square which is equal to 36y squared. We'll use the identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So 49x squared will be written as 7x the whole square and 36y squared will be written as 6y the whole square and there's a negative sign in between. This is of the form a squared minus b squared. So now we have 7x plus 6x into 7x minus 6y. The factors are 7x plus 6y and 7x minus 6y. They are of the form a plus b into a minus b. Now we have l plus m the whole square minus l minus m the whole square. Both these terms are square terms. Now here a will be equal to l plus m and a square is equal to l plus m the whole square. Similarly b is equal to l minus m and b square is equal to l minus m the whole square. We will use the identity a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square. So L plus M the whole square minus L minus M the whole square is of the form A square minus B square. Now L plus M plus L minus M is same as of the form A plus B. Now we write L plus M minus L minus M. This is of the form A minus B. So in front of B here there is a negative sign. So we put this L minus M inside the bracket so that there is a minus sign in front of both these and we'll have to open the bracket in the next step. When we simplify this, I get L plus L as 2L and plus M minus M will be equal to 0. Now L plus M and there's a negative sign in front of the bracket. So L becomes minus L and minus M becomes plus M. So I simplify this term also. I have 2L into 2M. If 
Because L plus M minus L plus N. Minus L and plus L will cancel. And M and M gives me 2M. So I have 2 into 2 into L into M. This again is in product form. And I say that the factors are 2, 2, L and M. 9x square minus 16. Again, 9x square y square is a square term of 3xy. So I take 3xy is equal to a and 9x square y square is equal to 3xy, the whole square, which is a square in the identity. Now, 16 is the square of 4. So 4 is equal to b in the identity and 4 square will be equal to b square. Which identity will we use? a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So now I write 3xy the whole square minus 4 the whole square. This is of the form a square minus b square. So using the identity I have to write in the form of a plus b into a minus b. So 3xy plus 4 and 3xy minus 4. So the factors are 3x plus 4, 3xy plus 4, and 3xy minus 4. Now let's try this interesting sum. It's different from the others. 16 a raised by 5 minus 144 a raised by 3, or a cube. Now 16 is a square term, 144 is a square term, but a raised by 5 and a raised by 3 will not form square terms. So one thing that I take out common is a raised to power 3 or a cube. Now let's see if I can take out anything else common. Now 16 and 144. I can write 144 as a product of 16 into 9. So I can take out 16 also common. So 16 a cube I have taken out common. And within parentheses, now I'm left with a square minus 9. Now here, a is equal to a and b is equal to 3. And a, the whole square is equal to a square in the identity and 3, the whole square is equal to b square in the identity. Now using this identity, a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. I have 16a cube within brackets a square minus 3 square. Now I can write this as a plus 3 into a minus 3 which is of the form a plus b into a minus b. And factors of 16 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. I can also find factors of a cube. a cube has factors a into a into a. So the factors of this sum are 2, 2, 2, 2, a, 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 a plus 3 and a minus 3. Now, 81 a raised by 4 minus 16 b raised by 4. I have two square terms. 81 a raised by 4 is equal to 9a square, the whole square. It is similar to a square. Now, 9a square will be equal to a and 16b raised by 4 will be equal to 4b square, the whole square. And it is same as b square in the identity. And 4b square will be equal to b. Now using the identity a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square. I have 9a square the whole square minus 4b square the whole square. Again it's of the form a square minus b square. Now 9a square plus 4b square is of the form a plus b and 9a square minus 4b square is of the form a minus b. Now looking at the two uh, products 
that we have. Now the second term 9a square minus 4b square again is in the form of a square minus b square. Here a is equal to 3a and 9a square is equal to 3a the whole square which is similar to a square in the identity and 2b is equal to b and 4b square is equal to 2b the whole square equal to b square in the identity. So we use the identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So using that identity for 9a square minus 4b square term, I get 9a square plus 4b square and 3a the whole square minus 2b the whole square. This is of the form a square minus b square. So using the identity, I write 9a square plus 4b square and a plus b into a minus b. So 3a plus 2b into 3a minus 2b. So the factors are 9a square plus 4b square, 3a plus 2b and 3a minus 2b.